Hey everyone, you're home on Tools with James. You ever try to drill a screw in at a 45 degree angle? Maybe you are building a deck or doing some framing for a house or putting a railing on for a fence. You know it can be pretty frustrating, right? I'm going to show you a quick and easy way you can do that with pocket hole screw jig. Let's take a closer look. So what I've got here is called a pocket hole jig. Now this is called the Craig Heavy Duty Pocket Hole Jig and this one's specifically designed uh, for 4x2 timber or 90 by 45 depending where you are. Uh, and what it is, it's moulded plastic um, and essentially the bottom here butts up against the end of your timber um, and this is going to give you these two holes here that you can drill into on an angle. So this sits on the timber like so at the end of the timber. I'll give you a closer look in a minute. Uh, and it comes with this drill bit. Um, so the drill bit's basically, it's tapered at the end. Um, so it drills a pilot hole for you and it drills, um, you know, the channel that your, uh, your bugle screw or your pocket hole screw goes into. And then you'll see you've got this collar at the other end. This is a, the depth stop. Uh, and it comes with a little grommet screw there that tightens up on the shaft of the drill bit. Um, so you need that one. And the other thing that comes in the kit uh, is, is a long shafted um, square bit. Um, to drive your drive your screws into. So the, the kit from Craig was around the $70 mark, that's AU. Uh, and let me tell you, I'm doing a project here um, that's in quite, quite a bit of uh, framing for a floor, and this has made the job really easy. I'll give you a quick demonstration of it, uh, of it in action. All right, so we've got our jig, we've got our bit of two by four. So what I'm doing here is this piece here, the little end piece, is gonna butt up against the end of the timber, keep it nice and straight. And what you'll need is a clamp. I'm using, uh, I'm using an F clamp here, um, but you can use the Craig clamp if you, if you want. F clamp I find is easy. Um, and we're just clamping pressure in the middle. We're making sure we're nice and straight. We'll tighten him up. All right, then we've got our drill bit in our drill. And basically we're just going into the holes of the pockets and we're, we're drilling through. So let's go. Now you'll see the sawdust here coming up out of these holes. So this is designed so that that relieves the pressure uh, of the sawdust as you're drilling through. So they're the extraction holes, one on each side. And you'll see that as I drill in, the depth stop that we've tightened up with our grommet, and I've just set that as to the little instruction book that came with it, that'll stop on this end and it'll give us our perfect depth of hole. That's one. That's two. I'll give you a quick look at what this looks like. There we go, we've got our two pocket hole screws. I'll give you a look at them going in uh, in the board. Okay, so our piece of timber's in position. Um, I'm gonna use these screws. Now, this, uh, you do get a few samples in with the kit. These are 64 mil Craig ones and they're a square drive. I'll show you how they go in. So we're using our, uh, our long bit that came with it, our long square drive bit. Here we go, this is how easy it is. So they're already piloted. Just like so. Super easy and an awesome finish. Okay, so the jig's also handy when you want to put a, uh, a screw in from the side of your timber uh, into a, a, a bearer that's running below. Um, you just have to go across the grain in this case. So I've marked out the line uh, where I want my screw going to. It's going to run parallel with my board. Uh, and I just set my jig up and the holes that, uh, that are used for the discharge of the sawdust, I just, you can sort of peer through that and uh, you'll see where your line uh, is lined up. You put your clamp in place and then we just, away we go, we drill our hole. It's that easy. And there we go. Perfect pocket hole on the side of the timber. And here's just the middle board one going in. Just another quick tip as well. If you get yourself caught in a position where you can't use a clamp, just put it on the timber like so. Get yourself, in my case here, I've got a 50 mil screw. And there's a little hole in the top here. Um, you can basically just drive a screw into it. Like so, won't go anywhere. Spin it around so you can see. It's in position. screw. There's our pocket holes. And there you go, you'll be a pocket hole jig pro in no time. 
Look, really good tool this one. Turns a really frustrating job into quite a pleasurable job. I'm sure you agree, uh, quite a professional finish and uh, certainly help you out in some of those tricky situations. I'm gonna drop a link in the description uh, for this little jig here. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please smash a like there uh, and subscribe to my channel. It would be really helpful for me. Uh, you've been Home on the Tools with James. I'll catch you in the next one.